Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic Baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with the next game in my Philly season. This game will be a July 9th, 2020 game, or would have been had there been a, 20, a regular 2020 season and not a COVID shortened 2020 season. And so... Um, I will be playing the Philadelphia Phillies visiting the Houston Astros. This game will be at Minute Maid Park. Uh, so Houston is the home team. Philadelphia comes in uh, with the worst record in baseball at 34 and 58. But the Houston Astros, I think they're in second right now in the... Um, in the uh, AL West, but they're 45 and 46. They're a game under 500. So they aren't the greatest team around. And of course, if you're not a Houston Astros fan, you probably want to see the Astros lose because of the whole cheating scandal. A lot of people got rubbed the wrong way about that. So I will do my best to make sure that the Phillies win this game, but it's been, uh, you know, it's been a tough road with the Phillies. I'll go over the lineups as each team comes up. So the Phillies will bat first, and they will line up as Adam Hazley leading off, playing center field. Hoskins will bat second and be the first baseman. Real Mudo is batting third, and he's the catcher. In the cleanup spot will be Alec Baum, and he's going to play third base. Harper will play right field and bat fifth. McCutcheon bats sixth and plays left. Jay Bruce will be the DH today, batting seventh. Gregorius will be the shortstop batting eighth. And in the ninth spot, we will have Segura batting uh, ninth and playing second base. And uh, pitching for the Astros today will be Zach Grenke, the, uh, the eccentric Zach Grenke. As you can see, I've got the scores out here so that you can check and see whatever. If you look away, you can see what the score is. I've got the inning tracker right here. This tracks the innings. And with all of that said, we will get on with this. The first batter is Adam Hazley. And he gets a 211 against a righty, and that's going to be a ground ball to second. So that is going to be a 4 to 3. I got to get back in the, the swing of doing the scorebook since it's been a while since I played a card and dice game at the table. Right, Reese Hoskins is the next batter. He gets a 6'11 batting, and he's a right-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes out 5'3. Two down quickly for the Phillies, and uh, up comes G JT Real Muto. The real Muto gets a 6-4. He's batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to their third baseman. That's Bregman. He has a 1-E-8, and that is a 4. And that is going to be a ground ball. So he goes out 5-3, and the Phillies go down very quickly here. And we're going to the bottom of the first. The, um, the Astros lineup will be... Jose Altuve will lead off and play second base. Uh, Gurriel will be the first baseman, batting second. Batting third will be Springer, George Springer, and he'll be the center fielder. Batting in the cleanup spot is going to be Kyle Tucker, the left fielder. Batting fifth will be uh, Correa, and he will be the shortstop. Michael Brantley will bat sixth and be the DH. Um... Bregman will be the third baseman, batting seventh. Maldonado will be doing the catching today, batting eighth. And Josh Reddick will be the right fielder, batting ninth. That lineup is going to face Zach Wheeler, our main man, Zach Wheeler. And so uh, we will go back to the top of the lineup where Jose Altuve is facing Wheeler. He gets a 2-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. So, uh, Wheeler with the K. That's the first strikeout of the game. Yuli Gulik Guriel is the batter. He gets a 112 against a righty, and that is a single. So, there's the first base runner of the day. Wheeler giving up the base hit, and George Springer is the batter. 
he gets a 410 batting right and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop that is of course uh gregorius and gregorius is a 2e20 that is a 10 so we're going to go on the e20 we're looking for the air rating here and that's not good that's a seven and uh that's going to be a ground ball so and it's a ground ball a it's a double play so it's going to be a six four three double play that gets us out of the inning so we will go to the uh top of the second inning top of the second still zero zero alec Baum is the batter and he gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a strikeout. That's Granky's first K of the day, which brings up Bryce Hart. And he gets a 110. That's going to be a ground ball second. He goes 4-3, and there are two down very quickly for Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon gets a 5-5 batting right. That is going to be a fly ball right field. And we get nothing, and we go to the bottom of the second. Just that quickly. Kyle Tucker is the batter for Houston. He gets a 5-3 batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 2-E-19. That is a 7. That's going to be on the air rating, 19. That's not probably very good. 5. 5 is going to get us an E-1. So... Tucker gets aboard with an E1. A one base air by the one. By the one fielder. And uh, Korea is up. He gets a 4 7 batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. Well, wait a minute. Yep, it is. It's a strikeout. Second K today for Wheeler. One down. Michael Brantley, the DH today, 3-9. He gets a walk. So Houston has two runners aboard with only one out. Wheeler walks the man, and Alex Bregman is the batter, the third baseman. He gets a 3-6. That is going to be a walk and load the bases up. And so Zach Wheeler is in a little bit of trouble here. He has uh, Astros all over the place. And uh, luckily Maldonado is up. He's not a very good hitting catcher. He gets a 411. 411 for a righty. That's going to be a ground ball shortstop B. I didn't have the infield in, so a run will score. And the air comes back to haunt him because the uh, the man that scored was the guy who got on by an air. And there's two down with uh, Reddick, the batter. And he gets a 2-8. And that is going to be a home run by Josh Reddick. He hits a three-run home run. Unbelievable. Well, now, it's really not unbelievable. <laughs> I want to just say that. I mean, so um, Wheeler gives up a hit. Um, that's the fourth run that's scored, but only three of them are, are earned. No, actually, none of them are, because that would have been, uh, yeah, that would have been, that would have been the third out. Um, if, if the guy hadn't gotten on by an air. So, um, but four runs do score, nevertheless. 
And we're back to the top of the lineup and El Tuve. And he gets a 411 batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So uh, they get they finally do we finally do get out of the inning, but not before the um, not before the Astros can score four runs and take a commanding four nothing lead. And Jay Bruce will be the batter here in the top of the third inning. He gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. One down, and Didi Gregorius is the batter. He gets a 3-7. That's going to be a ground ball short, 6-3. And Segura is the batter. He gets a 6-9 batting right. And that's going to be a home run. Segura hitting a home run. So we do have a run. We're on the board. Um, Granke gives up his first hit which results in the first run and the first earned run. Hazel gets a 5-9. Batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Their shortstop is a 1-E-3. That is a 10. That's going to be on the E-3, but I'm not, I don't have a lot of faith that that's going to be an out. Or that's that's going to be an error. Six. Wait a minute. Korea. Yeah, he's a one e three. So that is an out. And, uh, yeah. He goes 6 3, does Hazley. And uh, we did manage to get a run, but uh, we're still down 4 1. We're going to the bottom of the third. And Yuli Gurriel will be the batter for Houston. He gets a 212, and that's going to be a hit by pitch. Wheeler hits his first batter of the game. George Springer is up. And he gets a 4-2 batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. So there's one down, one runner on for Houston with Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker getting a 5-5 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. Two down, man at first, and Carlos Correa up. And he gets a 4-5 batting right. That's going to be a fly ball right. So Houston gets, um, Houston gets no runs in the third, and the score is 4-1 going into the top of the fourth. Reese Hoskins is the batter. He gets a 4-4 batting right. That is going to be a catcher card X. That is Maldonado, and he is a 2-E-1. That is a 4. And that is going to be uh, an out. So he goes 2-3. to three. 
one away and we're in the top of the fourth. Reese Haskin, he gets a 310, that's gonna be a ground ball short. Or wait a minute, no, that's real mute, that was real muto. Hoskins is out, oh, real muto. 310 gets a fly ball to right field. And bomb is up. And he gets a 5-4 batting right, and that is going to be a center field X. That is Springer, and Springer is a 2-E-2. Two -E -two. That is a 3. And that's going to be a single. Bomb gets aboard with a hit. That's only the second hit Granky has allowed. And um, Harper is the batter. We need a big hit right here. 4-8, batting left. That is going to be a single. So, all right, we got the wrong markers out there. We got two runners on with two down. Third hit allowed by Granke, and the batter is Andrew McCutcheon. And he gets a 3-6, which is a walk. I'm calling that a 3-6. It's a walk. The bases are loaded now. Bases full with two down. And Jay Bruce, our home run leader, is up. And he gets a 6-7 batting left. That's going to be a fly to left, and we're out of the inning. So no runs come across in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Still losing by three runs, and the batter is going to be Michael Brantley, the DH for Houston. He gets a 210, and that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. One away, and Bregman is the batter. He gets a 27, that's going to be a fly to center. So Wheeler has settled down a little bit here, but he's still losing by three. Maldonado is the batter. He gets a 6-9 batting right, and uh, that's going to be a strikeout. Fourth strikeout for Wheeler. He allows nothing in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth, losing 4-1 to one to the Houston Astros. Gregorius is the batter. 4-8, batting left, and that is going to be a single. So Gregorius leads off by getting a board. That's the fourth hit allowed by um, Granke. Gregorius is a stealing D, so he's going to stay right where he is. Segura is up. He gets a 2-3, and that is going to be a ground ball first base A. That is a double play, folks. A 1. Oh, wait a minute. A 3. Uh, a I'm going to call that a 3-4-1 DP. 2 down, and Hazley up. And he gets a 2-5. That's a single. And uh, um, yeah, fifth hit allowed by Grenke. Hoskins is the batter. We could really use a home run here. Two six is going to be a fly ball center though. We are out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Still losing four to one. Still got Wheeler out there. Wheeler is holding us. I would say close enough, but our offense has to come alive here. Reddick is the batter. He gets a 6-7 batting left, and that's a strikeout. And let's see, is that true? Yeah, that is true. They only have two hits. Huh. 
El Tuve. Back to the start of the lineup and El Tuve. And he gets a 3-3, which is going to be a... That is an out. It was a ballpark single, and that's only 1-3. to three, So he is out, and um, so that's going to be a... Um, Five to three. And Guriel is up. And he gets a three eight, and that is going to be a pop out to short. No runs for the Astros in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth. <laughs> We're still losing by three. Still losing by three. And Real Muto is the batter. The catcher is up, and he gets a 2 8. That is a strikeout. So Granke has struck out his second man of the game. Not a big strikeout pitcher, Granke, in his old age. Alec Bond is the batter. He gets a 1 4, and that is going to be a double. He just missed a home run, hit it off the wall, but he does get a double off of Granke for the sixth hit off of him. Bryce Harper is up. He gets a 5-8 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for Houston is a 3-E-14. That is a 4. That's going to be a single one asterisk. So we got runners at the corners with only one out. Let's mark that down. The runner on second goes over to third. We got runners at the corners. And McCutcheon is the batter. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. So there's two down. Granke strikes out his second man of this inning, third in the game. And Jay Bruce, our home run leader, gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, and he is out. And we come away with nothing in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Still four to one Astros. And they're going to send up George Springer this inning, Tucker and Korea. He gets a three six. That is going to be a fly ball to center. One down. And Tucker is up. He gets a 210. That is going to be a ground ball second base. He goes 4 3. And let me straighten there. 4 out. And, and Korea is the batter. And he gets a 2 7, which is a ground ball short. Houston comes away with nothing. They had that four run second inning. And if not for that, we would be winning one nothing right now, but we're batting in the top of the seventh, down by three. And uh, Didi Gregorius is the batter. And that is a 5-9, batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop is a 1-E-3. That is a 12. That's on the E-3 again. That is an 11. And that is going to be an out. Six to three. Segura is the batter. That is a six six batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. Granky strikes out his fourth man. Greinke has been sharp here today, and Segura is the batter, and he gets a 4-11 batting right, and that is going to be a fly to left. The left fielder is a 3-E-4. That is a 4, and that's going to be a double. Double for Mr. – or not, that wasn't Segura. That was uh, – that was um, – Hazley. So Hazley gets a double. 
Seventh hit allowed by Greinke, but he's, you know, he's bending, but he's not breaking. And up steps Hoskins. And he gets a 6-7 batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. That's his fifth strikeout, and no runs come in for us in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And we're going to make a change. We're going to let Wheeler, we're going to take Wheeler out. He pitches six. He allows only, I've only got, I've got only two hits, two walks, and a man got on by an error. Um, but one of those hits was a home run, which was devastating. And uh, it's the uh, entire reason for the difference. So we're going to bring in, um, let's see. I'm going to bring in uh, Adam Morgan. Morgan has been good for us lately. Let's see if he can continue that. Um, Brantley will be the first batter that faces him here in the bottom of the seventh. He gets a 1-7, and uh, Morgan is a lefty, So, but that's a single still. Brantley gets a hit off of Morgan, man aboard, and Alex Bregman. Bregman gets a 2-7. That is going to be a walk, unfortunately. So there are two runners on with nobody out. Morgan usually lately reliable, but not so far here. Maldonado is the batter. He gets a 3-7. That is going to be a strikeout. So Morgan does strike out his first batter, getting his first out of the inning with runners at first and second and Reddick up. He gets a 5-6 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. So uh, Morgan rebounds nicely, strikes out the next two guys after allowing the first two on base, and El Tuve, the top of the order, is up. And he gets a 5-7 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. So he does come back and strike out the side impressively after he, walked, or after he allowed the first two guys to get on base. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Still 4-1 to one Houston. And they will take Grenke out. Grenke pitches seven innings. He allows seven hits and walks a man, but he did not he did not break. He only allowed one run. And um they are going to bring in uh, they're going to bring in Andre Scrub. And believe me, he's not a scrub. He had a 366 earned run average, or at least a projected 366 earned run average. Real Muto will be the first man to face him here in the top of the eighth inning. He gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a walk. So maybe we can start something here. Scrub walks the first batter he sees, which brings up Alec Baum. Got a little power, Alec Baum does. 5-6. That's a walk. We get the first two on. All right, maybe Scrub is a Scrub. But let's see if he can do what um, Adam Morgan did last inning and get the next three guys out. Bryce Harper is up. That's going to be a tough order. 2-7, but it is a strikeout, just like uh, Adam Morgan did. Striking out the very next guy. So there's two on with one down and McCutcheon out. 
He gets a 1-6. That's going to be a strikeout. He is doing exactly what Bo what uh, Alec, uh, um, Adam Morgan did. Strikes out the next two guys. So now this is a key batter right here. Two on, two out, Jay Bruce. And that is a 4-8 batting left. And that's going to be a walk to load the bases. So now we've got the bases loaded. Scrub has come in and walked three batters and struck out two, and Gregoria is the batter. And I'm going to have to get another 20-sided dice on that. Possibly. That's a 2-7, though. 2-7 uh, against a lefty, and that, or against a righty, and that's a fly ball center field. So we came close to getting another run, but we didn't. We actually didn't. Here we go to the bottom of the eighth. I'm going to keep uh, Morgan out there. He's a multi-inning guy. Guriel is the batter. Um, four, eight. Batting right. That is a double. So Guriel is up at second with a double. Another hit off Morgan, and they are going to... No, they're not going to sacrifice. Springer is the batter. They're not sacrificing with Springer. He gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a fly ball to left field. One down, one runner up at second. Kyle Tucker up. He gets a five. We're going to say five, six. Five, six batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. And Carlos Correa is the batter. He gets a five, two batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball first base. No runs come in for Houston, but we're in the top of the ninth now. Um, we have got to have um, a run. They're going to take Scrub out. Houston is going to take Scrub out. They've seen enough of him. And uh, they're going to bring in... Ryan Presley. Ryan Presley, who was likely their closer in 2020. He had a three, he had a projected 310 earned run average. And he will lead off facing Segura. And we'll get the uh, marker off of there. 2-5. Uh, Presley is a righty. That's going to be a ground ball second. One out, and Hazley is out. Hazley gets a 2-8. That's going to be a ground ball shortstop. We're down to our last out here with Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins getting a 6-7 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball second. Second baseman is a 3-E-14. That is an 18. Probably going to be an out. And it is, he goes out 4-3, and that is it. And we lose the game by the score of 4-1. to Close game, you know, relatively close game. Houston had that one inning, and then we shut them down the rest of the time. But um, we couldn't get four runs to match them. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.